let's get started. We're gonna do uh, like a quick, my quick reforma workout, which I do since I'm working a lot right now, when I only have like half an hour to squeeze in, in between my clients. And um, yeah, so we're gonna do kind of a basic workout with um, adding a little stuff. So go jump onto your reformer and lay down for footwork. So place your feet, which this, uh, choose the spring setting you're normally uh, used to work on. And let's start 10 times on your toes. Don't bang it. This is perfect because it's, I just was, I've been working the whole day. And this is like my workout for today. One more. Come onto your arches and push out. Make sure you're assisting the spring on the way in. So you push the bar away from you as you drag it in. Okay, my, my teeth are not holding. Too bad. We're, we're gonna do about 10-ish. I'm not counting. <laughs> Stay there, come onto your heel and push out. Now make sure your sacrum is down and try to use your lower back ribs to push the carriage back. Two more. And good, yes, come to your toes. Push the carriage out. Make sure your sacrum is down. Your lower back ribs are down. And now grow taller as you lower your heels and lift them. And as you lower your heels, try to push the foot away with the balls of your feet. Lift and lift. Three more times. One more. And then your knees in. So take the foot bar down. If you have four springs, I recommend going on, on three springs for uh, my favorite version of the 100 right now. Um, take your knees over your hips in a tabletop position. Reach arms up to the ceiling. Put your arms all the way up so your shoulder blades are lifting off the reformer. Put your neck along and then curl in from your rib cage and push into the handles to just roll up in the position. And now hold, and instead of pumping, just breathe. Inhale on five, and exhale on five. And try to move the carriage like half an inch back with every exhalation. And exhale. Make sure your sacrum stays down, and you're just curling in your rib cage. One more time, and then start pumping and try to keep the carriage as far back as possible. And if you feel good, just extend your legs and try to have your arms all the way up there. Inhale on five and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Two more times and exhale. One more. Exhale all the air out and bend your knees in. Um, go on two springs for a stomach massage, uh, massage, short spine massage. Prepare your straps. Okay, bend your knees down. Now make sure your tailbone is down, extend your legs, and now lift your bottom right away off. So we form up into your knees. And now articulate your spine down. Try to just elongate your spine. Think more of rolling forward than coming down. One more time. Lift up and over, bend your knees. And now pull your sit bones forward. Articulate your spine down from the first, from the top ribs 
down to the lowest two more times. Up and over, bend your knee and roll all the way down. Last one. Bend, come down. Good. Now take the, uh, take the handles. We're gonna skip um, coordination. We're gonna move on with um, the rowing series. Take, go on one spring, turn around, have your legs long or cross legs or cross, whatever suits you best. Be long in your spine and now lift and round your upper back to pull the carriage forward open. Reach through your spine and your head as you pull and round over. Now reach your arms back and lift them. Lift out of your waist and keep your stomach up to your thighs as you feel a good stretch. One more time. Round through your upper back and roll back. Open. Now elongate your spine with your neck as you push back. Round over. Now reach your arms back for your lift them and circle around. And let's move on to, to the next 90 degrees. Push your elbows away, push your fists up. Pull your back ribs all the way up and up to your um, head. And now hinge back so to keep that long spine. Come forward. Reach your arms back before you lift them up. As your arms lift, your waist is lifting as well. Come up. Your fists are pushing up, your elbows are pushing forward. And now go back, reach long. Extend your arms, round as you pull your arms back. Now reach your arms back, lift your ribs, lift your waist. And now circle around. And place your hand with it. Next to you, turn around for the third one from the chest, your elbows go back, sit up tall, and now push out, lower down. Lift your sternum as you lift your arms, lift your shoulder width all the way up, and then press down and grow even taller. One more time, push out, down, go up, and reach through your fingertips through the crown of your head as you press your arms down. Flex your feet, take your hands next to your hip, round forward. Push your arms forward to your heels. Now reach your arms long. Reach, push into the strap. Extend your spine. And then come up and circle around. One more time, roll down. Reach through to your heels. Now without lifting your you're about to just reach your arms forward and then your chest is reaching forward, neck long, all the way up and circle around. Sit cross legs, reach your arms up for shaving. Bring your index finger and your thumbs together and now bend your elbows and extend. Now as you bend your elbows, think more of lifting your spine or pulling up and three more times. Try not to sink into your lower back as you extend your arms. You might might have when you push yourself away from the carriage with your sit bone. Stay there, open your arms, change your legs. And now reach your shoulder blades into your fist or hands as you Bring your arms together, reach just an inch forward before you open. Now, if, before you want to close or open your arms, you just want to bring more attention to the spring. And open two more times. One more. And good. So bring the handles, drop the handles down into the well. Let's prepare for stomach massage. So you go into the spring set and you have for footwork. Sit down, take your feet up. 
first position is rounded. And now push the football away with the feet and get out. Low, left, bend, extend, forward, left. And as you go in and out, just think of pulling your front and back ribs back and up. So you have a nice C curve and lift yourself out of your lower back. Pull your neck long. One more time, take one swing off and your arms back. Now sit up tall. Try to push the carriage back with your sits bones and keep pushing the carriage back on the way in. So you resist the spring more. Three more times. Good. One more time. Take one spring off. Extend your arms. Now slow down a little bit. Reach your arms up, lift your knees up, push the foot bar away, and reach, 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 reach before you extend again. Pull the carriage, push the carriage back with your sit bones. Push the foot bar away with your feet. Lift your knees, lift your arm, and extend. One more time. Try to be the tallest version of yourself. One more time. And then let's add a twist. Take your time. Come in one more time. Twist and reach through your fingertips. Long neck one more time each side. Reach, grow taller and taller and taller. One more time. And come in. Good. Let's move on to um, the short box. So prepare your box, take a pole. Come back sitting. So we're gonna move the, not we're gonna move, we're gonna use the pole. All ready for the round back. So reach your arms forward, sit up tall and push the bar away. So your shoulder blade or um, get, get pulled apart. And now round through your upper back. As you go back, push through your heels, keep your neck back, and then push the bar forward, lift your little back and round forward. Go back again. Push through the bar to come back up. Stay rounded the whole time. So you don't have to find your nice C curve again. Last one, make sure your neck is pulling on the rest of your spine. Come forward, good. Take your arms all the way up. As same here, push the bar away. Now try to lift your shoulder blades a little bit and then do an external rotation with your upper arms to kind of bring them slightly back down and then going back with a straight back, reach even longer and come back center. Reach through your hands and reach through your heels. Two more times. As you lift up, use your sternum and pull it up to the ceiling. Let's add one more. Lift your sternum up. Bring your arms down for a second. Now reach your arms long, lift the bar up again, side to side. Now lift up tall. And then you side bend to the right and pull your left rib apart. Come back central. Go up straight first, and then you side bend over to the left and pull your right ribs apart as much as possible. Two more times. Bend over. Try not to go down. You always want to go up. Come back center. Bring your eyes forward and down. Bring them back up. Now twist, just a normal twist right here. Twist and reach up to the ceiling. Come back center. One more time. Try to get longer. Push through the crown of your head. One more time, now reach, twist and reach. Go back, come up and center. Twist, go back, come up and center. One more time. Up and center.
on her last one. And good. Bring your arms down. Take the bar down. Um, take your right leg out for a tree. Sit up tall. Try not to lean back. Sit on top of your sit bones and slightly press your, your leg down into your hands. Lift your back ribs up and extend and bend. Extend, bend, and extend. And then hold it there. Flex and point your feet, your foot. One more time. Now stay there, keep your leg there. And just walk yourself over your leg and try to keep that tape actually hinged back. Pull that leg out of your hip and articulate your spine down and pull yourself back. So you have a nice long line from your heel to your neck. Come back up and keep your leg there as you try to elongate your spine even more. Round back, push through your left heel and pull your navel, your neck, your spine all the way back and come back up. One more time. You can go all the way down if you want to. If not, just stay there. Reach through your legs. Come back up. Keep your spine long, lift it. Now stay here, keep that shape. As you lift, pull that leg out of your hip, lift out of your low back, and come back forward. Sit up tall, cross your leg, flex your feet, and round over for a second. Come back up, change your legs. Take your left leg, push it down into your hands to grow up, to um, grow even taller, and then extend your leg and bend. Two more times. Stay there, flex and point. You have a nice stretch in your hamstrings. Stay there. Now walk over, walk, walk the tree up, round over, and pull your leg out of your hip. You make space and then round, uh, roll down, push through your right heel and pull your spine back. Come back up. Keep that length in your spine as you come up. One more time. Roll back. Push through your heel. Long neck. Come back up, 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 up. Last one. Go all the way down if you want to. And push your sternum back to the frame of the kit. Over the former. Come back up. Keep that length in your spine as you bring the leg forward and down. And then sit up tall, bend your leg. Cross it, flex your feet, and round over. So we're going to add the side sit up, one of my favorite um, exercises. You can choose what you, how you want to sit. You can have your leg bend, or if you want to, you can ex take both sides, uh, feet into the trap and keep them long. Bring your arms back, lift up tall. So your, the crown of your head is reaching up to the ceiling and then bend over and come up to the ceiling and over and up two more times and up one more time and good, change sides. So let's find the right position. Make sure that both hips are on top of each other. Flex your feet in the strap or your foot in the strap. Now make sure you're lifting your spine up and then you bend over and up to the ceiling. And up, two more times. Keep pushing into your heels on the way down and on the way up. And hold it for a second and step off. Good. So we're gonna bring the box back. So set up for your elephant, two springs as far as up. Make sure your heels are all the way down. Now push yourself away from the foot bar. Keep your neck long. So your, ne um, your neck is in, in elongation of your spine. Pull all your toes up to make sure your, all your weight is on your heels. 
And now push your sit bones into your heels to move the carriage back and pull it in with your heels. And in, 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 two more times. Stay there. Now just lift one arm off the foot bar and do four with one arm. One more, change sides. Push both arms away, then you lift the other one. And in, in. One more, and good. Bend your knees, come down into to your knees. Round your back. Make sure you have a long, nice C curve. Tuck your toes under and push your, already push your heels into the um, shoulder blocks. And then you push out. One, ten times, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Come on, arch your back and keep moving. Try to keep that rhythm. Six, long neck, sternum is lifted. And round your back, take your knees off. Two, make sure your heels are still pushing into the shoulder block, especially on the way in. Three more times. And come down. Nice. Step off. I'm gonna be uh, do running on three springs. You can choose the spring setting you like. Come back. Lay back. Feet are parallel. Push the bar away. Make sure your hip is long. Your leg are legs are long. And then run. Just notice that the balls of your feet should push the foot bar away when the heels are up and when they're down. So you keep pushing the foot bar away the whole time. Elongate your spine through your neck. And then both legs in, come to you. So I'm, gonna, I'm always doing pelvic legs parallel Feet hip width apart. Choose whatever you, which what suits you well, suits you well. Stay there. Now reach your pubic bone to your knees. Drop your ribs. Elongate your neck, and now push the bar away. And use your inner thighs to drag the carriage in. So you try to push your shins forward on the way out, and use your inner thighs to drag the carriage in. Three more times. Take your time on the way in. So you make sure not the spring is pulling you in, but you are pulling the spring in. One more time and come all the way down. Good. So let's end everything with a, a split, a nice stretch. We're gonna do the last part of the front split. So you come uh, to your kneeling position, take your right leg up onto the foot bar, push your left heel into the shoulder block and try to elongate your hip. Now slightly pull, pull your pubic bone up, reach for, um, make sure your heel, your right heel is not hanging all the way down, just a little bit lifted. And now push through your left heel, just a little bit, Oh, I try. I forgot to go into springs. Two springs, of course. Now it's easier to push. Make sure your hip stays for the first three times. So you really concentrate on that opening here. And now you can go further back. And now keep pushing back into your left heel as you lift your hip and pull the carriage in one more time. Push out. Now keep pushing your left heel into the shoulder block, pull your pubic bone up, lift all the way up, stay there. Now take your right arm, right hand, push it against your right knee, push your knee against your hand, lift your left hand all the way up. Now lift up and side bend and come back, come down and change legs. 
So take your left leg up. Make sure your heel is not hanging. Bring your right hip forward, pull your pubic bone up, lift your chest up, and now push into your right heel, but keep your hips where it is. It's just like a really small range of motion. And come in one more time, push it out, and now go all the way back. And make sure your, your spine stays long, your hip is long. Come all the way up one more time. Keep pushing into your right heel as you drag the carriage in. Stay there, lift up tall, take your left hand, push against that knee, your left knee, take your right arm up, lift up tall as you bend over, stretch your right side, come back center, and come down. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you had a nice workout. Have fun with all the other amazing teachers. Thank you for joining me. Have a nice holiday. See you soon, hopefully. Thank you. <laughs> oh, hi, Lori. <laughs>